so far. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Talisha and today I'm going to be showing you how to wrap a polo. So you want to make sure, there's only two sizes of polos, which there's either horse or pony. And of course I have horse because it's a horse, not a pony clearly. And if you do this wrong, you can do what's called bowing the tendons, which is where the tendons pull in. And if you do that, it can cause permanent damage. So you want to make sure you're doing this right. So before you wrap your polo, you want to make sure it's rolled with the Velcro on the inside. So when you unwrap it, the Velcro will end up being at the end when you're done. So let's just start. Where the horse, behind the horse's cannon bone, and where their tendons sit, there's a little crease here. And you want to put the start of it on the inside of the crease just below the knee. Once you've got it in that crease, you want to make sure you're holding the polo against the leg as you roll down to do it. So always keeping the polo... Ugh always keeping the polo close to their leg and once you get around that side you can pretty much let that part go because it's already holding it so then you can start heading down and you want to make sure when you are pulling to tighten it you're pulling it across their cannon bone not across their tendons because that's how you can cause them to bow and you want to make sure you're going equal equal amount of space in between each roll see i'm doing about an inch. Now when you get near their fetlock, you want to make sure you <laughs> cup under the fetlock. Ow! <laughs> that's my finger. And then come up so it forms a V. And that's what you want. And then you're going to start heading back up and make sure that you're tightening around the cannon bone, not around the tendons. So equal spa space again as you come back up. And don't shoot the camera. <laughs> <laughs> or me. <laughs> Cheeky. Oh, <laughs> super. And then as you get back just below their knee, where the Velcro stops, you can undo your Velcro and do it up. And you want to make sure when you do the Velcro that it's not on the inside of their leg because then it can get caught and undo. So I probably should have done that a bit um, further on the outside. So I'll probably end up redoing that one. But yeah. So that's how you wrap a polo and thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Whoa. Come in. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Now that's enough of that. <laughs>